meteorologist Dan Bianca for more. Hey there, Alicia. There's quite a bit of snow in the Sierra Nevada this week. They were counting it in feet and another winter storm watch in place for the coming days as this next weather system approaches. We also have some snow on our peaks as well, and it appears that it might be quite deep up in the Clear Creek management area or the San Benito Mountain area of San Benito County. If you live near there and you've been up in the snow, Drop me an email, weather at KION546.com. There aren't really any observations up there, and I've been trying to call around to see how deep the snow is up there, but maybe if you know, I mean, I think it actually could be over a foot deep up there on the mountain. I guess you probably need a special permit to get up there, but I digress. Either way, we've got more rain on the way, and there may be a little bit of higher elevation snow, but I think the rain will be the main story as this cold front approaches from the northwest. At the moment, we do have some high clouds passing through, a few radar echoes, but no wet weather happening just yet. The cold front is really stalled off on the Oregon coast right now, but it will work its way down toward us as we head into the day tomorrow. In the meantime, we're looking at just partly cloudy skies with those high clouds passing through. The radar is pretty quiet tonight. There's a couple echoes over the water but I don't think anything's reaching the ground at all. There's just some moisture in the upper mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. Temperatures at the moment, upper 40s to low 50s. It's a little warmer tonight than it was this time last night due to the clouds acting a bit as a blanket. And as we head into the day tomorrow, we should see partial clearing by dawn. I still think we'll have some high cloud cover out there, however. So as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning, we'll call it a partly cloudy start to the day. The thing you'll notice during the day are southerly winds will be on the increase and they become breezy at times during the day. And eventually they'll start pushing some low clouds up into the coastal mountains, specifically up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. You may actually see a little bit of drizzle up in those mountains into the afternoon. Now the actual cold front's going to hold off till well after dark. I think it'll be close to midnight tomorrow night. So this is going to happen while most of us are sleeping, which is probably how many of you prefer it. And as uh, it does roll through, we will see a period of light to moderate rain. So this is 2 a.m. tomorrow, and, or I should say not tomorrow morning, but Tuesday morning. And we're seeing that wet weather move into Santa Cruz County. However, you may wake up to it on Tuesday. So on your way out the door on that morning commute, especially up over Highway 17, expect some wet roadways to start off your Tuesday. And this cold front will again slowly move across the region as we head through the day on Tuesday, bringing light to moderate showers. I don't expect a full day of rain, maybe outside of the coastal mountains. You may see rain on and off throughout the day there, but elsewhere, mostly just some spotty showers to the point where we may get up to a quarter of an inch for cities around the bay. Coastal mountains may see a bit more closing in on an inch and a half in some instances, but again, not a big event. This is the type of system we get maybe once or twice a week during the winter time on a normal winter when we're not dealing with either complete dryness or crazy wet storms like we saw last week. This is a normal one. So that's what you got going on for you late tomorrow night into Tuesday. Those temperatures tomorrow, southerly winds will keep temperatures cool across Santa Cruz County. We'll see in the 50s for the most part, Santa Cruz at 59 tomorrow. Watsonville topping out right around 60 tomorrow, low 60s in Salinas. San Juan Batista Hollister back into the low 60s in Marina as well. Monterey, you're going to stay in the 50s tomorrow, but get close to 60 degrees. We'll get there in Seaside. Uh, Pebble Beach a little cooler at 57 and then in the south we'll see some 60s, but not quite as warm as today. Most locations will be a little bit chillier uh, due to the extra clouds and cooler temperatures overall coming through. As we look at the next seven days, temperature staying a little cool for the next four at least, but then high pressure is going to build in after this weather system and that should leave us nice and warm and sunny this weekend. So if you were planning on doing some outdoor dining, I know there's a lot of businesses that probably need your business as long as we're doing things safely. It should be a beautiful weekend to do that. In the meantime, again, rain mostly on Tuesday of this week. Inland area is also going to see some rain on Tuesday. I wouldn't expect a lot. Uh, we won't see a ton in our inland valleys, but you'll get some. Breezy conditions for the first couple of days of the week and then much warmer, drier weather. And it looks like we'll probably stay that way at least for the first week and a half of February.